we are doing my most favorite topic. And that <laughs> is safety. <laughs> you know I'm a fanatic for safety. So, <laughs> and for those who are hard of hearing or deaf, you already know. I think we have it built in already in us to be careful. But I just wanted to throw out some ideas in case you're new to the field of being deaf or to the field of being um, hard of hearing. And all of a sudden, <coughs> your brain tells you about all this dangerous stuff out there. <laughs> you're freaking out. <laughs> no, don't freak out, because we've all had to do this. We've all had to be careful. And um, it, it takes a little bit to get used to, but you know, I don't want you isolating um, from, the, from life, from the world. So we're gonna talk about a little bit. Um, let's talk about the city. If you live in the city, um, my suggestion, you know, if you're by yourself, you have your own apartment, you have your job, things are going well, you know, just, walk and go where people are, obviously. I mean, that's a suggestion for anyone, but especially for us. You know, avoid alleys, just don't go down the alleys, <laughs> you know, just, <laughs> just go where the people are, where there's plenty of traffic, plenty of people around. So avoid the alleys, don't go back there. Um, there's nothing interesting back there, so just avoid the alleys. You know, do your business during daytime. Um, you are less likely to have an incident during the day than you are at night. So if you have to fill up your car with gas, if you have to get tickets for something, if you, you know, just do it during the day. And that's a suggestion from the police department anyway. Um, so to do things out in, in the light. Um, have a personal alarm with you. You know, this is this is Tech Tuesday, which we talk about technology, and I'll be talking about technology peppered through this conversation of safety. So if you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I keep myself safe? You know, do things during the day, stay where people are, um, have a personal alarm on you. Uh, those are really cheap. You can find them really cheap on Amazon and you can have them all on all your backpacks and all your purses and all your pockets because <laughs> they're pretty safe. You know, uh, they're, they're pretty cheap <coughs> and they're also safe. <laughs> they help you with safety. So if you feel like something's going on, somebody's too close to you, you know, you just pull it and it'll make, you know, the decibels are incredible. So that's another thing you can do, you know, to keep yourself safe. Uh, the other thing is, don't do things alone. <laughs> Go with somebody. You know, and we don't want to feel like that's our part of our disability. No. Um, but, you know, there are things that you, you don't want to go there. Um, you know, I've had to stay in hotels by myself, that kind of thing. Um, but my brother and sister-in-law prefer that they would be with me or in the next room or whatever, um, just in case. You know, because things, life is crazy out there. So, you know, so, but have a personal alarm. No issue with that. Um, some people say pepper spray. I, you know, that's uh, controversial because you really have to know how to use the pepper spray. Um, and you want to make sure the wind is not going in your direction because uh, then it will blind you and hurt you. Uh, so the pepper spray is, is a little controversial, but you can think about it. Um, I want you to be careful if, you're, if you decide to have some pepper spray nearby. All right, if you decide to go out in nature um, and you want to go hiking, you know, enjoy nature, uh, my few suggestions is don't go alone. Go with somebody else, you know. Um, avoid areas that are really, really secluded um, because if, if you slip, you hurt yourself, whatever, um, then, you know, it's harder to get help. Uh, 
you know, always bring a little, a small uh, first aid kit with you in case, you know, the slip, the little cut, whatever, you know, at least you can uh, attend to your situation uh, and while you're waiting. Uh, avoid isolated areas. Again, this is one that you want to be careful with the bobcats, <laughs> the mountain lions, <laughs> the gorillas. <laughs> so you want to be careful with all that because I if you're going out in nature, you're going out in a park, you're going out in a federal park, a state park, uh, 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 an international park with a lot of animals, it's their territory and you can't hear them. So <laughs> they know you, they see you and they hear you. So you got to be careful with, you know, because you can't hear them approaching. You got to be, you got to have that care about, you know, and it's their territory. So have, again, have a personal alarm with you that never hurts. And that will be loud enough to scare them away is my hope. If you are in a forest, you know, you're camping or whatever, uh, think about bear spray because here in, in the United States we have bears. So <laughs> in some territory, so you want to have some bear spray. You want to have some pepper spray uh, just in case. Um, you know, do the smart things, be hydrated, bring water with you, bring the first aid kit, um, and bring the personal alarm with you. Uh, you know, that's, th those are really, uh, important tips for you, you know, and you might say, Lisa, these are, these are like common sense kind of things. And sometimes we skip that part of common, <laughs> so... <laughs> we don't do it. So, um, you know, sometimes it's spur of the moment that we go out to do something and we go on the way to work or on the weekend you just drop everything and you go. But you have to take those few moments to think about what you're going to take with you or who you're going to take with you to make sure you're safe and you're okay in doing this adventure, this last moment adventure. Oh yeah, I already said that. Um, you can also use your camera and look behind you, you know, to make sure an animal is not following you. Make sure uh, something with two feet is not following you. <laughs> anything on two feet. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, anything that's bipedal, uh, you want to be careful that something's not following you with four paws or two feet. Uh, so you can use your camera and you have your safety alarm. Uh, so all those things are good. I don't want people to be nervous about going out. Oh my God, I'm hearing impaired now, I can't go out. It's like, no, it doesn't have to be that way. You just have to be a little bit more cautious, just a little bit more cautious in terms of your surroundings. That's all I'm saying. So I don't want you to end up uh, with so much anxiety <laughs> that <laughs> you have a nervous breakdown because you can't go out. No, uh, these are just common sense, well, certain common sense. Some people uh, skip the common sense part, but I want you to just say, okay, I'm hearing impaired. All right, I'm deaf. So I'll do these extra things to, to make sure I'm good, that I did my part, that I have my little first aid kit, that I have my little uh, personal alarm, I have my pepper spray, and I'm good. I did everything I could to be to be safe. So, uh, so these are really really important. So, I want you to be safe. You know, safety is part of my uh, <coughs> my part or my contribution to someone who is hearing impaired, to someone who is completely deaf that has stopped going out because they're not sure how to do this. They want to go out, they want to go hiking like they used to, but now they feel they can't. So go with somebody, have fun, you know. Oh, I don't know anybody, at least or I like to be by myself. Okay, then do these little things that you can do, you know. Uh, just have a little backpack with, with your things, you know, your little first aid kit, water, 
and your um, your personal alarm and your pepper spray, and just have uh, uh, an alarm there, uh, an alarm, a backpack that's already you know filled with those little things, and you just grab it and you go, or have it in the car. So to be able to go out uh, spontaneously to a park or to a forest to, to visit, it, that's very, very healing and very healthy thing to do. And I want people to do that, regardless of your hearing loss, regardless of your deafness, um, and, and do it, you know? Um, you can go camping that way, you can, you can go hiking, you know, you can do all those things. We can do anything that other people do. We can do all of it, we just can't hear. And there are some extra steps that we need to do to remain safe, whether it's the city, whether it's in nature. So um, that's the message that I want to convey. Long time ago, I did one on safety, but it was a little gruff because I was learning how to do YouTube. So <laughs> I'm hoping this one is is better and it's it it's full of other information that is more support supportive uh, to you so that you feel like, okay, I can handle this hearing loss. I can handle this deafness, and I can do these things. So again, in my life, and if you are freaking out because <laughs> you are new to hearing loss or deafness, here are some things that you can do to keep on going in life, enjoy life, and, and just do the grocery shopping, just do every, go visit someone, do everything that you always did, and, and just practice a little, a little extra caution, and you'll be fine, you'll be fine.